Oi, Rodrigo. Nope. Salmon. Oh. Quick save before we do anything. I found something. It's good because Gortus is furious. So furious that one wrong word and he'll chop both of us to pieces. In the swamp, someone tried to drag a large chest of gold. I have some work to do, but if someone doesn't stand by it, I'm afraid that sooner or later someone will steal it from us. Wait, transport. Ah, shit. I, I skipped it. A chest bursting with gold magically appeared in the middle of the swamp. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Ha ha ha. There's, there has to be the miner, though, somewhere. Because it, it doesn't make sense that we picked up two and we didn't get it. Um, are you, are you in trouble? Okay, that's interesting. Wait. Oh. Okay. So, um, he's not following me. I'm following him. Okay. Where's the chest? What are you doing? Are you trying to learn monsters to us? I'm sorry, it's just nerves. Great is not far away. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, we could just non less uh, whistle and the guy would die. Huh. I mean, there's no reason for me to cause that guy to die, I think, so. Good thing you brought me here. Someone's already started going through the crate. How do you know? There's coins scattered all over the place. I'll clean it up, but Cortez can find it out about it for the world. Alright, I'll get this to the haven somehow. You try and find something else. Also, we have to tell Cortez everything. You know what will he do to me if I give him bad news like that? Tell him I sent you. Tell him what happened and let him know I'm trying to salvage what I can. With any luck, the sea will throw up some crates. I'll look for them. As well as the survivors. Be that as it may, but I would advise you not to come back until we have something concrete. Do you even know what happened? Beckett won't tell me. How did the ship go down? I know. It's orcs. I don't know what you're hiding. But this is not going to end well for you. I mean, it's gonna end well, no problem. We just need to make sure that we scour all of a swarm. Ah, oh, couldn't jump over. That's fine. Make sure we s we looked at everything. So this is that. Uh, there was the blood. Oh, hey, mushrooms. Is that a thing? No. <laughs> He's trying to push it. Push it. Push it real good. Okay, down here maybe? I mean, there could be something in the bush here, but no. Nah. Let's see, so we checked there. We should probably check here. Did I miss a corpse somewhere? That's entirely possible it's just two of the minor corpses. And I'm just being paranoid or something.
but I didn't get a quest with the notification, so that's why. There was one there, one here. I see in that one. We did find the corpse here, but it didn't have a thing, yeah? Yeah, we only have two packages. I feel like there's three, because we didn't get a message, but... We did check this chest. And there's nothing else in it. We did check this corpse, there's also nothing else in it. Is this corpse here? I mean, it is named Minus Corpse. So unless I'm somehow dumb, or maybe it's in the water. Could be in the water. Which would suck. Yeah, we did pick up you. Oh. Don't see any cops in there. Oh, hey, there's someone there. Who are you? Haha, -ha, I knew there's three of them. So many package sh packages should satisfy quarters. I think we got all of them. I think we got all of them. So we got all packages, we got swamp weed, we got uh, iron packages, we got the uh, weapon packs, we got a special the special sword, we got the uh, jewelry boxes, uh, and the all blanks. Yeah, we got everything, I think. So let's go talk to Cortez. Or do we talk to that dude? Uh, no, I don't care about him. Snitch life. Cortez is a thing. About that transportation. I had nothing going in my way. Always some complication. I hope you aren't stupid enough to come back without my goods. This is all the equipment I could find. Marcy, do you have anything else to tell me? In the middle of the swamp was a chest full of gold. Someone had already got into it, but most of it remained. I don't know who brought it here there or how, but I secured it with salmon. At least there was some use for of them for a while. Couldn't find anyone from Beckett's crew. They must have all gone down with the ship. Any survivors? I did not meet any. And even if they reached the shore, they must have been finished off by the beasts. Beckett will pay me for this. I need a new people like never before. I also searched the whole swamp and the surrounding area. There, where the sea threw away, came back to you. My losses would probably be greater if I had assigned someone else to the task. You have a future here, Marvin. You did a good job. As a reward, take the string. Know that I reward successful people generously. Now it's time to take Beckett down. You know why the ship went down? Yeah, uh, bring us strength received, okay. Yeah. Orcs attacked the ship. From what Beckett said, they had no chance of escaping. If he'd been a better captain than a liar, he could have made it. Orc galleys are not the fastest. I'm not taking any chances. The smuggling has to be shut down until the situation calms down. Kill him. We won't be needing him. And someone has to answer for the loss of a ship. I don't see a better candidate. I have a score to sell a room myself, anyway. There you go. All better to take care of him personally. Yeah, you need people, but he decides to, uh, to have me kill one of your guys. 
Very good thinking. Mr. Pirate Captain Guy. Very good thinking. I'm back. Did you find anything? Whatever, if you're alive, you must have talked to Cortez. Yeah, we had a very pleasant chat. Mostly because it was about you. You didn't tell me about him about the orcs, did you? I didn't. Simon did. How did Simon know? I didn't tell him about anything about orcs. I couldn't resist and had to tell someone what was in my heart. Damn you. I'll be out of money. Do you know how expensive my lifestyle is? Oh, you don't need to care worry about your lifestyle. You don't really need to worry about money. <laughs> God deserted me to cure you. Marvin, buddy, I'm sure we can find a reasonable way out of this situation. What do you suggest? I can always tell Cortez I'm dead. Pat and I will sail quietly from the harbour. With so many witnesses, do you think? They want to fool Cortez? Have I completely lost your mind? Alright, change your plan. Let's get him, Pat. Old friends and low love, very nice. And compass, it still works. Mother's amulet, very nice. Oh wow! Maximum hit points bonus 120 and all weapons combat bonus 5. You know what? Let me let me look at this. Let me look at this. So I would be losing 10 arrow protection and 7 dexterity. I don't care about 7 dexterity at all. I would be losing 10 protection for 120. Wait, where is it? I did pick it up, didn't I? Oh wait, I was looking at the compass. I'm gonna need you. That was the compass that Fabio was accused of stealing at the beginning. Oh! I don't remember that, but uh, that's fine. So I would be losing 10 protection, but we would be getting 120 hit points. I think it's worth it, because 10 protection is... Not really that much. We're not going to be able... We have to think about it that way. If we if we take 12 hits, then this would help me better. But since... But since most of the enemies are going to... With arrows, are going to kill me in like... 5 shots, at most. I think this is better. The guy who was thrown overboard if I didn't intervene. Oh! Oh, uh, well I didn't intervene. I was quiet. Yeah, I think I think I want that because I'm equipping this is gonna uh, take away five percent, but I can equip this and we get the five percent back. So it's like it's fine. And 120 hit points is like 20 percent of my current health, more or less, a little bit less. It's good. It's fine. It's it's perfect. I think we did good. Cortez, I killed the guy. Now you have even less people to uh, work for you. Bacon's dead. I'm curious to know if he tried to redeem himself. What did he offer you for your life? Gold? Jewels? He tried. He was trying to trick me. Pat attacked me too. Then I guess he's dead too. He wasn't much use anyway. You have done well when most of all you have remained loyal. With that said, you are now one step closer to getting to know Big Ben. Now that's all that's behind us. Now that all that's behind us, we can think about your well-deserved meeting with Ben. Due to all the commotion of a stand's death and the recent moods among the boys of the Haven, I decided to speed up the start of a tournament. The boys could use some entertainment, and these duels between the best warriors in the area have even become tradition. Uh-huh. We must remember to nurture it. 
As where is the thanks? I want to invite you to the tournament as an honoured guest. Ben will probably win as usual, so he'll be in a good mood. And that might mean he won't try to rip you in half as soon as you show up. Who knows? You might even get what you need out of him. Go and talk to Proximo. He lives in the huts behind the tavern. He is the one who takes care of his stuff. If Ben's going to win the tournament, why should I be part of it? You must know something about Ben. Brute force is all that matters to this guy. If you show up to the tournament, he might see you as someone worthy of talking to. I'm not talking about trying to win the whole tournament. That's suicide. Win a fight or two, claim the gold, and we can move on to celebrating at the tavern. So I'll, all you have to do is enter the tournament? Because I'm the one who told you what to do, and I'm the one who's going to arrange you meeting with Ben when it's all over. Next time, watch your mouth. If you hadn't been helpful, you would have ended up in the ocean a long time ago with a rock tied to your leg. Okay. Let's go talk to Proximo. We did beat up a few people. So he's gonna make the entrance fee cheaper. Uh, we have a lot of money anyway, so we don't need to worry too much about it. Oh yeah, is the cook here? Is the cook back? No, this, the guy is not back here. I do, do you want to fight? No. Do you want to fight? Leonardo. No. Hello, Proxima. What's up? You're finally here. I thought you'd never show up. What is it? What is it? What do you mean, what is it? You are wasted among the muds, beating up these untrained simpletons. I want you to fight in the arena. I want to go out there. I want you to go out there and spill some blood. What's it gonna be? Add you to the list? Yeah. Larry is the first. Oh, okay. We already beat Larry up. That's the guy who uh, who did a friendly match. We went outside the, uh, the cap to fight. I know it. Now that the formalities are behind us, it only remains for me to wish you good luck. Oh, we didn't even have to, uh... We didn't even have to pay anything. Do we? Yeah, I didn't pay anything. That's nice. So, how are we doing? Good oh, man, don't bother me, I'm a busy man unlike you. Okay. Oh, we have to wait a day. Okay. The tournament starts today. I've already had some warm-up thanks to the fights at Lena's. Oh, but here it will be a whole different level. I should already make my way to the cave of the arena. It's the one with the we in the western part of the Scandal's Haven. That's cool. So, that's so cool, because... If we didn't fight in the arena in the slums, we wouldn't have that, uh, that written this way. That's nice. Even if those quests are totally unrelated to each other, it's nice that one of them acknowledges, acknowledges the other. Oh, that means that this is also going to be so cheatsy, because the, uh, the Nord Marian had like 460 strength or something like that. Where, no matter what we did, he would kill me in one in one hit if he hit me. Ah, oh, yeah, you're participating in the tournament. You could definitely use some something to help protect yourself from hits of these experienced warriors. It just so happens that I have in stock an extremely durable and elegant armor. Don't take my word for it, see for yourself. Crab shell armor. I mean, it, it looks cool. It's 2200 though. And I feel like we're gonna get an upgrade anyway. Big Ben has 750 strength. Yeah. So no matter what. If we if we look at... Let's say he uses an axe. Because... Or sword. Whatever. So that's 108. So 865. We basically have 865 health. So we can take one hit. We can take one hit and not die. Oh no wait! His hammer has 
100 damage. So yeah, 850. We can take one hit. <laughs> and do you sell at least a belt that's gonna work better with the... Uh... No, you're not. Well, I don't care then. Do I know these recipes? I know them. Decorated crossbow. I am gonna learn this. I mean, I'm gonna buy that recipe, but I'm not gonna do much else though. I'm not gonna buy an ore nugget. We have like 50 of them? 60 of them? 64. More of the participants in the tournament. Yeah, I heard. I'm opening the gate now. Come in and make yourself comfortable. If you do so well, you might even spend most of the evening there. There should be a proximo in. <laughs> there should be a proximo inside. <laughs> He'll explain everything to you. Cause proximo is a is is like mug from Final Fantasy. There's like a million different mugs. The question is, does every proximo share? his consciousness and memories with the others. So, Proximo. As my talented fighter, I was already afraid I was going to lose one of my highlights of the evening. Okay, look, you need to know the rules. Don't worry, there aren't too many. First, if you leave the arena during the fight, we consider it's your defeat. Second, you can fight with whatever you want, as long as it doesn't endanger anyone in the audience. Third, despite appearances, these are not fights to the death, otherwise we would quickly run out of fighters. If you kill someone, we'll kill you. Is that clear? I'm glad we understand each other. Okay, there was supposed to be blood and entertainment here for men only. For real men only. I had dozens of fights during a tournament. Think about how fast I would be without players. It's not allowed to kill opponents in the arena during a duel. This is not a city slaughterhouse, but a place of entertainment. We want our guests to have a good time, and most of all, we want them to bitch on everything. I know from experience that the amount of blood something. The spilling of blood is handled quite efficiently by Ben. He is the one person no one will tell that he can't kill an opponent during a fight. Okay, I'm ready then. Great, then come out into the arena and show us what you can do. Wait, if he's got a hammer, I'm still gonna s I'm still gonna survive one hit. Oh, we do it this way. Okay, okay. Are you ready for the biggest event in the entire kingdom? Many weeks of preparation and mountains of gold spent to make this arena a place of spectacular bloodshed. Warriors from the farthest lands come to show their craft and risk their heads for glory and riches. That's a lie. Everyone here is from the swamp. And all thanks to our wonderful captain. To have fun, drink as much as you... So have fun. Drink as much as your heads will allow and don't forget to bet on the fights. Welcome the first Daredevils. Daredevils. They are young and eager to fight. They make up for the lack of training with vigor and cunning its tricks. As Marvin and Larry. You again. We'll see who gets lucky this time. My stuff now. Oh, is it? Do I have to talk to him? I think I have to talk to him. Watch it one more time and I'll slug you one. Damn, you hit me pretty good. I think I really need to practice more. Oh, so it's until I... It's until I uh, lose. See all those ovations. Isn't Serena great? I don't see innovation. Are you gonna slow me down, you piece of shit? Damn, what have you done to me? Me? What do you mean? Defend yourself.
Okay, I'm fast. That was kind of scripted, because we didn't have an effect on us, did we? We'll see about that. Well, we would see, but... Yeah. Hey, do I still have that thing? No. Well, that's a shame. You're better, I'll admit it. Even if you cheated. Oh, well, what's this? What's this? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Hey you, how are you feeling after your last fight? Did you get hit hard? Uh... Oh, he was cheating. I, I got trashed. I have something here that should get you back on your feet. Uh, what is it? A healing potion combined with a strength potion. I brought it... I bought it some time ago from Hero. Why do you want to help me? Look, let's call it an investment. I put a lot of money on you. You'll get a bottle f for free now. If you win, I'll get you a nice sum. So what do you say? Okay, sure. Well, better? Definitely, thanks. Yeah, no problem, kid. That's like 20... 20 points, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. He was probably saying something that he's gonna give me some time to rest. That sense of the arena. Oh, hey! Wait, who's this? Is this the uh, haunting lady from the city? No, Eileen. And you beat Dan? I never would have thought judging by those thin arms. Okay, let's get this over with. Oh wow, she did uh, 15 damage to me. Where's Eileen from? Was she in the town? Oh, uh, with the tavern? I'm like a, I think that's it. Uh, now I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. Uh, probably be before. After the next uh, fight. You're better. I admit it. You're indeed a tough bastard. She's in the arena normally. Oh, okay. Are you just betting on the fights? Did I ever say I only bet on them? How are you feeling? I feel weak and confused. Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't you feel a little dizzy? Ha! Huh. Just a guy named Soul? Oh, I don't remember. Is there another Soul who betrays you? Because I don't really remember that well. You're a lucky bastard. One more punch from me and you'd be in the, the one chewing the sand. No, I wouldn't. Marvin becomes the winner of the second round. A short break for participants. But don't go away because the best is yet to come. Son of a bitch poisoned me. So... Just do this, it's fine. Hello, my friends. Uh, what's up? What do you want? Man of action, you don't like to talk much, do you? Uh, what is it? And I get it. Look, it's simple. A few guys don't quite believe you'll beat the next opponents. In fact, they are so sure of it that they have decided to bet a few gold coins that you will not return here alive. I wanted to offer you the opportunity to bet on yourself. This deal is brilliant because you can't lose on it. If you win the next round, you get extra gold from the bets. If not, well, the gold won't be of any use to you then. What's it gonna be? Interested? Yeah, well, I'm gonna pay 250. And that's the spirit of a winner. I told them Marvin was fearless and would gladly take the bet. I'll be here waiting after your next fight. Don't forget to pick up your winnings. I still have my bonus strength and dexterity from that other potion, so 